Hi guys, Audi TT dash in for repair. Faulty fuel gauge and temperature gauge. The dash is on test mode on the bench. The fuel gauge and the temperature gauge should be sitting at cold, just below 50 and just below the R on the fuel. Both gauges are failing and reading far too high. So when the car is running, the temperature gauge is indicating that it is running at 120, 130, which is far too hot. The fuel gauge is still reading over a quarter of a tank when the car is running out of fuel. Okay, to remove the back cover, you want to pull the casing to the left and right. Little caps there and there. The TT dash also suffers from the speedo and the rev counter points and motor failing as well. So we'll show you how to swap it out. So you're twisting and lifting. We want to break the lug off the motor. The white part, the support part, we want to keep in one piece.
so we're doing the same idea bending the lugs back on the pointer motor so we can slide it off the supports okay new pointer motors Okay, needle reset. So what we're looking for on the bench is for the needle on the fuel gauge to be pointing there. And the needle on the temperature gauge just below the 50 line. So we want the needle on the ref counter just below the zero on the motor stop. Speedo the same. Now we'll power it up. sitting perfectly. The temp gauge just below the 50 and the fuel gauge on the last little mark. Now when you're doing this in your car the easiest way is to have the car with very little fuel with the fuel, the fuel light on and just put it the dash back in the car, ignition on and put the needle at the R mark. Have the engine cold and put the needle at the 50. Okay, make sure there is a gap between the needle cap and the face don't want them touching. You can probably see it in the fuel better. Give it a good millimeter gap. clip 
each side back in. Now, a wee trick. Put the gauges to full. before you put the front cover on. Reason being, I'll show you first. It catches the gauges. So, oh sorry, the needles. So put them to max. There you go. And they clear. the silver aluminium rings. So we put the six T10 screws back in the back of the dash. Make sure Two sides are clipped on. Okay, all back together. Let's power it up to reset the needles. Sitting perfect, all repaired, all parts available on our webs, oh sorry, wait till it finishes, all parts available on our website uh, from full motors to new cases for the rev counter and the speedo and the two motors that you've seen being fitted in this video. Thanks for watching.